Hey guys, it's Alisa. Welcome back to our third imitation and mimicking lesson. Today we are going to talk about TV shows, something I spend a lot of time watching. So the goal of these lessons is to help you guys improve your speaking and conversation skills. So we're going to do that by improving your pronunciation, your annotation, your tone, and your connected speech. Those things are so important when you're speaking English because so much of it is about how you say something, not necessarily what you say. So if you have already done one of these imitation mimicking lessons with me, then you can just go here in the video and get started. All right, so if you are new here or if you just need a refresher, let me tell you how this is going to go. So there are four steps to this process. So I have written a monologue about TV shows that I am watching right now, and I am going to say it three different times. The first time I say it, you're just going to listen. Listen to how my voice goes up and down. Listen to how I connect words and phrases together. Watch my facial expressions. Listen to how my tone changes depending on what I'm saying and what I'm emphasizing. And then the second time I say it, you are going to repeat after me. I am going to slow down a lot and you are going to say what I say. The words will be up on the screen, and also there is a link in the description with the script if you would prefer to do it that way. The third time I say this monologue, you are going to shadow me. That means you are going to say it at the same time that I do. We're not gonna go quite as fast as I go in part one, but we're gonna go much faster than I do in part two, and this will give you a chance to practice your pronunciation and tone and connected speech. So our fourth step of this process is meant to help you be able to say your own monologue about TV shows or about whatever it is that you want to talk about. I'm going to point out some things that are very natural to native speakers, things that we do, and I just want you to notice those things so that you can add them to your conversation as well. I might point out some vocabulary too. All right, so let's get started. So this is step one. You're just going to listen. You're going to listen to my tone. You're going to listen to how my voice goes up and down. I might even get a little bit louder. Watch my face. My facial expressions are going to change and they are a huge part of how I communicate. You might even see my hands start to move. That's a big part of how I communicate too. Not all Americans talk with their hands, but a lot of us do. Most of us do. I think some of us just talk more with our hands than others. I do it a lot. Um, and so that's something that you're going to want to incorporate into your speaking skills as well. When it comes to English, speaking is much more than just speaking. All right, anyway, enough of my blabbing. Let's get to our monologue. So by the way, I'm having this conversation with you guys, and I'm saying all of this just as if I was talking to a friend. I mean, we're friends, right? What kind of TV shows are you guys watching right now? I watch a lot of sports. It's almost the end of football season right now. The Super Bowl is coming up and my eyes have been glued to the screen every weekend for the games. But in between that, I have been watching a lot of Netflix. The new season of Ozarks just came out and it was so great. I don't wanna give anything away just in case you haven't seen it. Have you seen it? The end was gut-wrenching, mind-blowing, shocking, and sad. So many emotions. Ugh, oh, Ruth. Do you guys think she's going to go crazy? Do you think she's going to get back together with the family? I really root for her. I also like Marty so much. He didn't treat her well at one point when she left but he really does care about her. And I think she knows that. Anyway, so I finished watching that. I binge watched it. So after I finished that, and this is a little embarrassing, I started watching Cobra Kai. I have avoided that show since it came out because it seemed a little silly to me and I didn't think I'd be interested. Okay, I have to say it. 
I'm hooked. It is super cheesy. Super cheesy. It has all those throwbacks to the 80s, the songs, the lighting, all of it. Sometimes it's actually like we've been transported back to the 80s. But I mean, I did love The Karate Kid and Mr. Miyagi. So of course I would love this show too. And it's kind of interesting to see it from the perspective of the so-called bad guy. But I own it. I like it. Have you seen it? Are there any shows coming out soon that you plan to watch? All right, we are all done with that part. So now you guys know what I've been doing with my time watching football, watching Ozarks, and watching Cobra Kai, and working a little bit. I feel like I can't be the only person that watches a show and is a little bit embarrassed by how much they like it. If you have had this experience, tell me. So hopefully you noticed how my facial expressions definitely changed. I roll my eyes a lot. You don't have to do that, but I do that. But you also hopefully heard how my voice went faster and slower depending on what I was saying. That is so important. And sometimes I would go through something really quickly. Sometimes I would slow down to emphasize it. And you could hopefully hear, sometimes I'd get really excited and my tone would change. When I was embarrassed, my tone changed. And so pay attention to all of those things because they really are just as important as the words you are saying. You can say the exact same words two different ways and they will have completely different meanings. All right, so it is time for us to repeat. So for this, you are really focusing on your pronunciation. That's why I'm going to slow down so much. You should really pay attention to all of the syllables that I say. Um, try and catch the consonants, the D's, the T's, the N's, the S's at the end of words. We do say them, we just say them quickly so you might not necessarily hear them. So this is the time when I'm slowing down for you to hear those things. The words are going to be up on the screen. You can also go to the link in the description below to get a copy of the script if you want to. What kind of TV shows are you guys watching right now? I watch a lot of sports. It's almost the end of football season. The Super Bowl is coming up soon. And my eyes have been glued to the screen every weekend for the games. But in between that, I have been watching a lot of Netflix. The new season of Ozarks just came out, and it was so great. I don't want to give anything away. Just in case you haven't seen it, Have you seen it? The end was gut-wrenching, mind-blowing, shocking, and sad. So many emotions. Ugh, Ruth. Do you guys think she's going to go crazy? Do you think she's going to get back together with the family? I hope 
she gets back together with the family. I really root for her. I also like Marty so much. He didn't treat her well at one point when she left. But he really does care about her. And I think she knows that. Anyway, so I finished watching that. I binged watched it. So after I finished that, and this is a little embarrassing. I started watching Cobra Kai. I have avoided that show since it came out. Because it felt a little silly, and I didn't think I'd be interested. Okay, I have to say it. I'm hooked. It is super cheesy. Super cheesy. It has all those throwbacks to the 80s. The songs, the lighting, all of it. Sometimes it's like we've been transported back to the 80s. But, I mean, I did love the Karate Kid and Mr. Miyagi. So, of course, I would love the show, too. And it's kind of interesting To see it from the perspective of the so-called bad guy. But I own it. I like the show. Have you seen it? Are there any shows coming out soon that you plan to watch? All right, so that is our repetition part. I just want to point out some words that I hope you picked up on. One of them is hooked. So when we say hooked, you get the K, and the ED has like a T sound, hooked. So even though it's spelled ED, we say it like it's a T, hooked like that. 80s is another one that I want to point out, ADs. In this case, even though it is spelled with a T, we say it like it's a D, and usually when a T is in the middle of a word, that is what we will do. We tend to make a D sound if something's in the middle of a word. So it's 80s, A-D-80s, like a D sound. 
even though it's spelled with a T. Okay, time to shadow me. All right, so let's move on to part three, shadow. So I'm going to say this monologue again, not quite as fast as I do in part one, but so much faster than I do for part two, and you're going to say it with me at the same time. The words will be up on the screen for you to read, or you can go to the description below and get a copy of the script in the link. All right, let's do this thing. What kind of TV shows are you guys watching right now? I watch a lot of sports. It's almost the end of football season. The Super Bowl is coming up soon and my eyes have been glued to the screen every weekend for the games. But in between that, I have been watching a lot of Netflix. The new season of Ozark just came out and it was so great. I don't want to give anything away just in case you haven't seen it yet. Have you seen it? The end was gut-wrenching, mind-blowing, shocking, and sad. So many emotions. Ugh, Ruth. Do you guys think she's going to go crazy? Do you think she's going to get back together with the family? I hope she gets back together with the family. I really root for her. I also like Marty so much. He didn't treat her well at one point when she left, but he really does care about her, and I think she knows that. Anyway, so I finished watching that. I binge watched it. So after I finished that, and this is a little embarrassing, I started watching Cobra Kai. I have avoided that show since it came out because it felt a little silly to me and I didn't think I'd be interested. Okay, I have to say it. I'm hooked. It's super cheesy, super cheesy. It has all those throwbacks to the 80s, the songs, the lighting, all of it. Sometimes it's like we've been transported back to the 80s. But I mean, I did love the Karate Kid and Mr. Miyagi. So of course I would love the show too. And it's kind of interesting to see it from the perspective of the so-called bad guy, but I own it. I like the show. Have you seen it? Are there any shows coming out soon that you plan to watch? Okay, so we have made it all the way to step four. Yay! But in that shadow, I hope you were making some facial expressions too. I hope your voice is going up and down and faster and slower, depending. You can even just say this on your own without me and practice all of those things. That way you can do it your way. So after you mimicked me, you can just make it your own. And that is really one of the best ways to get your speaking and conversational skills more natural. Anyway, we are going to move in to our final part where I'm just going to really quickly go over some things that you should notice that are kind of natural to native speakers. So one of the first things that I say is that I was glued to the TV and that just means that I was watching. <laughs> and that just means that I was watching, just giving my full attention to the football games over the weekend. Truly, the last couple of weekends of games have been amazing. A lot of people are saying these are some of the best games they've ever seen in their life. They were all close and interesting. It was so awesome. If you've been watching American football, I hope that you have been loving it. If you've been watching other sports, I hope they've been good to you too. The Olympics just started, so yay we have that now too i'm a sports lover can you tell another thing that i think it's important to point out is super cheesy i said that twice to emphasize it i don't recommend you do that a lot maybe you get to do that once in a conversation if you talk to someone every day i would not do that every day you're always doing it to emphasize your point if you are having an aggressive conversation that's really serious and you're kind of angry or the other person might get upset i do not recommend that you repeat things for emphasis because then it can be seen as really aggressive and you're just going to escalate the situation and make it worse but in this case, 
I was having fun. I was playing. I was really kind of making fun of myself a little bit. So anytime you're making fun of yourself and you want to emphasize your point, you can definitely repeat and say whatever you said again because it's just kind of fun. It's just a continuation of kind of laughing at yourself. I mean, I can't say every American knows how to laugh at themselves because they don't. Some of us just take ourselves too seriously. But I think when we're with friends, for the most part, we're pretty good at laughing at ourselves. And so this is kind of a way to emphasize that. You see a lot of things that I say where I'm kind of making fun of myself. When I first talk about watching Cobra Kai, in fact, the whole time I'm talking about watching Cobra Kai, I'm laughing at myself. The first thing I say is, this is embarrassing. And your facial experience expression really kind of tells the person you're talking to how embarrassing it is or what kind of embarrassing you're talking about. I'm talking about the kind of embarrassing where I'm like, I can't believe I'm about to admit this, but I am. Like, it's not anything that bad or that serious. And my facial expression tells you that. So see, facial expressions are important because you, you can roll your eyes in a way where it's like, oh, I hate you. Are you talking again? Or you can roll your eyes in a way where you're like, mm, tongue in cheek. You're just poking fun at yourself. And you could roll your eyes in the same way if you're poking fun at a good friend, but you obviously need to know them. You need to understand what they're gonna think is funny and what they're gonna think is okay, because obviously that's important. But body language is a good way to emphasize making fun of yourself, to make something less serious or to make something more serious. And so you really want to pay attention to how you use it. Whenever someone's trying to understand what you meant by something, they're going to go back to your body language. And so that's why it's so important. So let's talk about a few other ways where I laugh at myself. So all of these are when I'm talking about Cobra Kai. After I tell you it's embarrassing, I tell you I'm hooked, which just means I love it. I'm watching it. I'm not going to stop watching it. This is like a thing now. This is now a show that I watch. I'm in. And just because of the context that that's in, because I already told you it was embarrassing. I already was like, I've been avoiding this. For years, I've been avoiding it. But now they got me. They got me. And so this is just another way of saying that. And then towards the end, I say, but I own it. And that just means I admit that they got me. I admit that they sucked me in and I'm a fan of the show and I'm watching it now. I'm going to watch an episode later after I'm done filming this while I'm eating. It's just it's what's going to happen. I own it. I like the show. You can say I own it when you're taking responsibility for something that's really serious. So like if you did or said something to a friend that you shouldn't have, you can be like, you know what, I did, I did say it, I'm sorry, I own it. Or in this case, you're again kind of joking and you're like, I own it, I watch the show, I like it, okay, I, I, I like it, I admit it. So you can do it in that way too. Again, it's all about context and how you say something. Okay, something important I want to tell you guys. There is a video about advanced vocabulary that you guys should check out because if you're interested in the kinds of things that we do in part four, where you're really kind of understanding how the words are used, you're going to get some good advanced vocabulary from that. And these are words that we actually use on an everyday basis. You know, I don't give you guys nonsense words that nobody actually says. So check that out on my channel. If you guys like those, I'll do them every week. Just like we're going to be doing these imitation mimicking videos every Monday. All right. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for joining me. If you liked this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, do all those YouTube things. Bye.